Hello and welcome to Kismet Rising. So this week we're doing the weekly oracle card guidance and I'm using the magical mermaids and dolphins uh, cards. So just a quick announcement. Um, I have read your comments. I do I see that you are interested in more of these uh, more in-depth energy forecasts or just talking about actually what's happening at this moment on an energetic level. And I was thinking of Rumble uh, as a platform. Um, Nina mentioned Odyssey as a platform. Let me know if you have any other ideas. I haven't actually researched it so well as yet. Uh, but do let me know if you have some suggestions for another platform that we could use uh, aside from from YouTube. One that is um, that it doesn't censor. OK, and uh, yeah. OK, so let me know about that in the comment section if you can or send me a private message on info at kismetrising.com. And I'm going to go ahead and start this week's uh, weekly oracle card guidance. So please go ahead and choose an option between one, two and three. And we'll get started. So for those of you who've chosen the option number one. So we have the card of, so for those of you who've chosen the option number one, we have the card of protection and the caption here reads, you and your loved ones and your possessions are safe and protected by heaven. Okay, so I think this is a very welcome card for, for many uh, at this moment. If you've chosen this uh, option number one and you have been concerned about world events, about how things are unraveling, about what will come to be, I think that you can be assured that for the moment, and for this time, you have the protection that you you require uh, right now. This is a reassurance that you do have the protection that you and your loved ones and your possessions are saved and and protected by by heaven um, is is what is written here. But I think that what it really what it means is that there's a sense of um, uh, there is more. There's more looking out for us. There's more looking over us at this moment. There's more than just what we can do for ourselves that is protecting us at this moment, and I think that this uh, resonates quite, um, uh, quite. It can resonate quite deeply for some so for some people who have come to this reading. Uh, the other thing I want to say is that if you're feeling that this is new to you, if you're feeling quite young in this process, like you haven't experienced this before, and uh, you you just don't know what to do or how to react, just rest assured that it's going to be okay that you will make the right decisions along the way and that things will work out fine for you that things will work out well for you i feel here that there's a sense that your prayers have been answered you've been heard your cries for help have been uh, uh, have been heard and it's just a matter of you actually uh, allowing the the time to pass and for the the support that you need for you for yourself to come to you I feel like another message that's in this card that's come up, um, that's coming through to me right now as I'm, I'm trying to channel a message to you is that this energy or what happens, or what's happening at the moment requires you to transform. It requires you to take a different uh, shape, a different look, a, a different outlook even. And it requires you to to meld yourself to whatever it is that's coming your way well actually I'm not sure uh, I think what it means what I'm saying here is that it requires you to merge into what is happening right now to become one with what is happening right now and to go with the flow it's almost like what I'm being shown is that you need to disguise yourself to be part of the crowd to be able to escape I don't know what <laughs> where where that um and how that uh, applies to you, but take it metaphorically as well. Um, and, you know, perhaps you could even use it meta uh, literally if you need to. But the idea is to to merge with the others, to to meld with the others is the word that they gave me. And to actually uh, become one of the others, to make it look as if you are one of the others in order for you to be able to escape and for you to be able to not draw any attention to yourself. There's a sense here that 
um, even though this card talks about the, the caption here reads that you are protected, there is a sense of danger. There is a sense of a perceived danger. And I feel like what's happening here is not that there is actual danger, but that the, the perception of danger is within you and that perhaps this is all, there's something to be feared. There's something to be concerned about. And I think that's what's standing out here uh, for me in this in this reading today. I think there's a sense here that you also need to understand um, and develop and um, research. I don't uh, research is not the right way, but rather delve into what protection really means for you. How is it that you need to put, be protected and what does protection actually mean mean for you at this moment? There is this uh, feeling here that there could be other ways in which you could protect yourself by changing some of your habits or by um, looking at what you consume, looking what at what's coming into your body. There might be some impurities entering your body without you realizing it, without you actually understanding that it could be an impurity. And so this this card also talks about identifying where there could be you could be harming yourself without actually realizing it how you know just kind of engaging a different level of protection for yourself so that you and your loved ones and those that uh, come after you will be safe and will be well all right so i'm gonna leave it there i hope that um, you can feel well and feel protected and feel safe as you go along in this week and i'm wishing you a blessed week uh, as you go ahead for those of you who've chosen the second option, so for those of you who've chosen the option number two, we have the card self employment. And it reads here, you're a born entrepreneur and your business is surrounded by magical opportunities. So this is a very definite uh, yes card, a go ahead, a confirmation for those of you who are thinking of setting up your online business or setting up your business in whichever way you want to, perhaps a little shop um, at your from operating from your house or doing something where you are taking the initiative to be able to create your income and to be able to manage your own hours of work and the types of people that you come into contact with, the types of products that you come into contact with and just basically creating and managing your life from the, the beginning to the end. I feel here that if you aren't somebody who's looking at self-employment, if you aren't somebody who's looking at um, at creating a new business or going out on your own or finding um, your own another stream of income, I think then that this card is actually talking about you um, developing your own form of thinking. It's almost as if here you're advised to step away from the crowd and to be able to formulate your own form of thinking your own stream of thinking and being able to actually understand things in a in a different way, being able to search for answers and come to realizations that perhaps others have not yet come to realize. There is a sense here that you have something that is stands out and is different from the from the rest. And in order to be able to cultivate that, you need to be able to spend a little bit more time with it and to be able to recognize it as something that is a, an alternative stream of information or income or uh, something where you just simply think about things and process things in a different way from those around you. I feel like you're like you've been given the permission to actually continue on your own. Um, whatever that might be, that you might take a, de a decision that's separate from a decision that your family has taken and do something completely different. And I feel here that um, in order to be able to, to do that, you need to allow yourself to do that. You need to actually say, well, I'm going to choose my own form of, of thinking here. I'm going to choose my own ideas. I'm going to move in my own direction. In order to do that, you need to hear who you are and what your soul is saying and what what you, what is being offered up in terms of your own um um kind of essence what's your essence offering up in which way is your essence guiding you i feel here that you might be surrounded by a lot of people who are giving you who are speaking the same 
um, narrative or the same rhetoric over and over. It's like people have bought into a particular idea and, and it feels outdated to you. It feels like it could be stale and it could be that you need to just think about things in a more refreshing manner. Think about things in a manner that if resonates with you ultimately. And this is a week where they all, they're giving you the permission to do that, to create your own form of whether it's thinking or creation or business or whatever it is. You have the permission to go ahead and do it. You don't need to hang on to what others are suggesting as a form of employment or what others are suggesting as a form of truth and what is to be believed, but rather you can forge your own path as you go along. And so I feel that that is the message for you as you go along in the week, um, in the week, if you've chosen the option number two. I wish you many blessings and well on your path. For those of you who've chosen the option number three, Okay, so this is a wonderful card for those of you who chosen option number three. We have the card helpful person. And so it the feeling that comes to me immediately is that there are people out there that want to help who are similar to you, who have similar ideas to you, who are able to help you go along on your venture, who are able to help you um, in certain formulating certain ideas um, in order to support you ultimately, support you in whatever decisions you've taken for yourself where, where you may need some support. And the caption here reads, someone wants to help you think of whom that might be that and initiate contact. So I feel here that that is not necessarily, it doesn't necessarily necessarily resonate with what I'm feeling right now. I don't necessarily feel that you need to um, initiate contact with this person. I feel more that it's a matter of you coming together with this person in some kind of way. However, for some of you, it might be that there is somebody that you have been thinking about who could potentially help you and you should go ahead and definitely initiate contact with this person. But if you are somebody who's not been feeling that and this card is fresh and new to you and you haven't been thinking that there might be somebody out there to help you, don't go now looking for somebody to help you. I feel like this is something that will happen quite um in synchronicity, it'll happen quite easily. Uh, just allow it to be. And you're going to see that there are going to be people who are going to be able to come up and give you the support that you need. Uh, and you simply need to be able to take it in. And you need to be able to, I feel like yeah, there's another uh, a part of this. It's like, there's a need for you to be more generous. There's a need for you to be more, um, to expand your receptivity. There's a need for you to be able to just allow goodness to come in your life and not be distrustful and not to be too distrustful but just to be able to take the help from others if need be. I feel here also that if you've been feeling a little bit unwell, if there's been something that's been bugging you, go ahead and get the assistance that you need and ask for assistance because it's going to be uh, helpful for you and then you're going to be able to move along much smoother than you have been at this time. I think that ultimately this card is talking about not being alone here. You're not alone. You're not um, the only one who's taken this decision. You're not the only one who has decided to go along this path. You, you, you don't have to be alone. And even if you don't know anyone in your community uh, who's, who can support you, there are others out there in a, in a wider community, in an online community, in a in a, in a greater sense, in a spiritual sense, sense, in an energetic sense that are actually supporting you and giving you what you need at this moment without you even realizing it, without you even um, really pushing forth and, and trying to find that and trying to, to, to make contact with that. Uh, underlying you at this moment is the energy that you need that is supporting you. And I feel like just to recognize that and just to be able to tap into that is going to be of great value for you in this week as you go along. If you have been feeling a bit stuck and you haven't been able to move ahead in a particular project or in some kind of work that you've been doing, go ahead and get assistance from somebody who's going to be able to help you to to do what it is to help you get to the next level. It doesn't necessarily mean that this person's going to be there all the time assisting you all the 
at all, every point. If you are somebody who works independently and likes to maintain that and you don't necessarily want an assistant or something like that, think about it as this person could help you just to bridge a gap and then they don't have to be there any longer. Okay, there there are possibilities for in which you can receive, in which you are able to take in help from others and it doesn't necessarily be have to be something that's conditional in any way or form, all right? So I'm going to leave it there. I hope that that message has helped you and I wish you a very um, lovely week ahead. Please stay safe and healthy and blessings abound from Kismet Rising.